is Jeffrey Zakarian, and we are ready for date night. What does that mean? You wanna whip up something simple, delicious, really attractive, but quick. This is a date night, sea bass with mint and caper relish. It's a fantastic wild caught Chilean sea bass by Harry and David. First, the relish. Capers with a little bit of their sort of brine in it. Really important to have that brine. Then we're gonna cut some of our parsley up, Italian parsley only. This is the parsley that's a bit sweeter and not as rough as sort of regular curly parsley. Then we're gonna get some beautiful fresh mint and we're gonna take this off of the stems. And get some nice lemon zest inside here. Now that we have the lemon zested, we can juice it. The best way to do that is to roll the lemon. So the membrane inside is now being crushed. Cut it, and you see it, the membrane's given up already. And then we just squeeze it in like this. Then some pepper, one shallot in there. Then we're gonna touch of salt, not too much, because we have very salty capers. We're gonna add our olive oil. We're looking for like consistency of a pesto. All we have to do now is cook the bass and put the two together. It's nice to have a glass of wine when you're cooking. Sometimes I even use the wine in the dish. We have a pan on the fire here, getting nice and hot cast iron with some butter. Look at that, it's about three quarters of an inch. Really important to cook for two, each thickness is the same. Why is that? Because we want to cook the same, right? Make sure it's dry, we've taken any moisture out of it. We're gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper. Once you put the fish in the cast iron butter that's brown, don't touch it, let it sit. We're gonna add some rosemary right to the pan. We're gonna add some thyme right to the pan. And the great thing about this method is if you cook fish in the house, it smells like fish because the fish is giving off its water. If you cook it with herb butter, you don't smell that. It fills the whole house with a beautiful herbaceousness. Okay, so let's plate this. So what I like to do is just pour a bit of relish down. And I always like it on the bottom. I don't want to cover the fish. And if you want more, it's on the side. Drizzle a little of this on top. It's a beautiful herb butter. I mean, there's two lucky people having date night tonight. This is a really great way to show someone you really care because you're cooking with love. It's simple, it's easy. Here's a dish for you.